Hey guys, Tyrup here, bringing you some more Warcraft 3 action. We got a 2v2 today on Twisted Meadows 1.1. Focus and Moon as the red team, and in the south, Colourful, and this is Lynn as Orc. It has been a patch since my last Warcraft 3 cast. Just a small one. I think the highlights are um, anti-magic shell. Got a buff after the nerfs it got recently, so it's harder to dispel. Well, it takes like two dispels instead of one. Uh, and Demon Hunter Mana Burn. Doesn't have an activation cost anymore, but got a DPS nerf. Um, yeah, that's roughly what I remember from it at least. Probably a few other small changes I've forgotten. But anyway, back to the game at hand. We're going to start with some Warcraft 3 on my road back to casting since the uh, game's generally a bit shorter. Anyway, we've got uh, Blade Master and Demon Hunter. A player's forces are under attack. For both teams, so a bit of a mirror here. Slightly different positionings for the Ancient of War creeping though. Big team going for a more aggressive camp. Scout out by this wisp though. Demon Hunter coming around the corner. A player's forces are under attack. Picks up the forest troll shadow preach from the camp. Demon Hunter did go minor burn. Burns off some of that. Blade Master coming in. Might be able to steal away one of these guys, but Down is under siege. slim pickings for experience. Did manage to creep up the majority of the camp quite quickly. Stole some mana with the one of Marcin. That did also get buffed at some stage up to 65 mana now. So it's actually quite powerful these days. He's been mana burning him all the way home, but he's run out of mana to burn with. So, uh, you know, this is pretty big taxes on these moon wells in the early stages. Very expensive when they the have to read your mana siege. instead of health. Front me a finds a wisp. Can't get protection back here. Cycles it through the gold mine. Nope, got to build a moon well way out the back. A few grunts just roaming around. Not too much action. Looks like both teams are not committing too hard. It's like a extended tier one play. This little skirmishing forces. See some crazy mass hunts or anything. Okay, Blade Master knocks out. Oops. Like there was a Forest Troll Berserker. Nice little kill there for the red team. He's got boots on the Demon Hunter. And now it's getting healed up. Oh, the hide works just in the nick of time. Avoids getting the backstab damage from the that wind walk. Forces are under attack. Oh, the demon just kind of walked himself and Oh, I thought it was going to be surround. That's quite tight enough. Now the grunt's in some trouble. Goes off to the side for the deny. Well played. So these guys are going to go down and creep out this camp. It's going to wisp down, so maybe we're going to see an expansion down here. Interesting. Meanwhile, the red team going for the Merc camp on the other side of the map. Stealing away a bit of experience. Nice easy camp here for Lin. Go. Tree of life underway. A player's forces are under Coming attack. In with the Naga Sea Witch now. Okay, looking for a lore cancel. This is a very fast town portal. It's gonna try run out. 
Maybe not. Now I can see which takes some mana boon. But maybe biting off a bit more than Colorful can chew here in this defense. And we've got the rest of the Orc army coming in. Red team looking for a two on one in Colorful space. Our players' forces are under attack. Let's see which staying in a safe range here. The Lord does get cancelled. Scroll the Beast now active. Blade Master's in some trouble, has to drain those Moonwells dry. Good Destinate though, got most of the raw off those units. Dunante has to hide with the Cloak of Shadows. Does have the Ring of Regen though, so can heal up reasonably effectively. Oh, you got Hexed. I was like, where did that come from? The Shadow Hunter at the back, I didn't see him. Very long range on that spell and uh, gets away. The town is forces are under attack. So good damage done here by the red team, but they need it because that expansion is going to be coming up shortly. Town portal out on the red team now. And got a nice raid to kill on the exit. One uh, arch going down also. Pretty good attack overall. Beastiary out the back here with the war mill. Double wars. Are under attack. Moon. Bit more creeping for the teal team in the center. Still got one shop in the middle for grabs, but. We do uh, have a, a war there, extra war. Let's go scout that out, combining up with the Blade Master. Did a bit of shopping there, so he picked up an Invol pot. Meanwhile, this camp crept out by the Shadow Hunter. go expansion just about done now so teal team about to step on the accelerator with that income take a look at food counts yeah the red team definitely does have a pretty large food advantage right now but they're not attacking with it and they're going to do some more creeping so we've got a bear in the mix for some raw. We'll do some big time creeping here. Both armies. Maybe look for some level 3s on these heroes. The Blade Master is staying out of action since he's already level 3. Oh, that was one other thing. thing the Blade Master's uh, mirror image. A player's forces are under attack. Change the experience the images grant and maybe up the damage the illusions do by 5% or something like that. So buffed up the mirror image after the changes. The town is under siege. Okay, Wisp detonates. Creeping on the far side. Kind of might have to town portal though, he doesn't have one available to him at the moment. Because it looks like the red team gearing up for an attack on the orc base. Do not have fortified armor on these burrows, but it is actually upgrading as I say that, so here we go. Shop is out the front, nice strong target to uh, kill at the start of a fight. Shut down those consumables. Town portal in. And here we go, big fight. Bit of a choke point here. He is kind of uh, absorbing most of the space, doing pretty well. Quite a few walkers though with the spirit link on the teal side. The red hero is getting quite low out the front, but the blade master on the teal side going down. I won't scrap this one. Still relatively close on food counts.
Gun looks like it's starting to tip against the red team though. Mopsing way forward, Sakoto tries to come in for a meal but gets ensnared. Red Blade Master in some trouble. Oh, focus. Still alive. But that burrow has just been smacking away this entire time. Four peons inside, really big rate of fire on that. Focus has to TP out. And there goes Moon shortly after. That was a really strong hold from the Teal team. I think they did have a food disadvantage, maybe by about 10 ish to start that fight. And uh, they held on well. I suppose like a proxy shop off to the side. You know, instant reinforcers coming out, reinforcements coming out of Lin's base here. A player's forces are Might under attack. have been enough to tip the scales. And now the red team with no expansion of their own. In a bit of uh, trouble. I'm guessing this did get scouted by the Wisp. So red team knows what they're up against. That just wasn't a strong enough fight for them really. Oof. He sells the flute I suppose. Not many dryads for Moon, in fact zero. So I guess that makes sense. Didn't even think about it for a second though, you know, just insta-sell. That's why they're the pros. Okay, bunch of consumables now on the teal team. They're looking for an attack to the night elf base. A player's forces are under attack. It's going to be a base trade, perhaps? No. Town portal back. The town is under siege. A bit of a split. Oh, going to continue to attack Moon's base. No, they're going to be in a big old scrap up here. Got a lot of Moon Wells for Colourful. Again, it's tough for the red team to fight here. A bit of surface area for them now, though, with the bears. Spirit Link, though, seems to be... You know, keeping these units very healthy for the teal team. Good dispel. Good detonates from the wisp, getting rid of that roar. Reapplied. It's going to be a town portal out from the red team again. Just the mass dryads out the back. Just doing so much damage. And that is not good for the red team. Now they're actually quite far behind in food count. Good 20 pop behind after these two failed fights they're gonna have to come up with another approach because this is not working at the moment these mass bears kind of just getting chopped up by the mass drives and they've only got one damage upgrade as well nice armor item though the devotion aura I'm sure that's helping a player's forces are under attack no nope, raider gets found okay, picked off Moon going in for a bit of a move here. Maybe going to try wrap around, go for the expansion kill. No uh, seven armor. Doesn't have nature's blessing yet. So the the uh, expansion's quite vulnerable. Could die quite quickly. A town is under siege. Looks like Focus is going to try mount a defense by himself here while Moon goes in for this attack. A player's forces are under attack. And make sure he doesn't lose too much in the process while I take care of this expansion. Oh, but the... Oh, he lost his Shadow Hunter. He's going to lose his whole army here. Oh, and then look at that detonate. So he couldn't go for the Fork Lightning to kill all the Wisps. Okay, so it's going to be some split attacking now from the Red Team. They've already lost most of their Orc army, about to lose the Night Elf base. A and town is under expansion forces are in this under cheeky position from Colourful. Now his main base is under attack. Town portal back. Does he have enough damage with the siege bears? Here we go. Good fork lightning. Oh, the Tree of Ages is in some major trouble. The Orc army's coming in. Does he have the damage? A bit of repairs. No! Stayed alive there, what was that, like 130-ish health? A player's forces are under attack. Oh, that was a big fail from Moon. He just he had two bears that were kind of running around for a lot of that. Didn't have the surface area to attack. 
lot of town portals now from the teal team but they do have the economy and forward for this to happen it's going to be a town portal out from focus he's walking his way back across here scout peon in the center going to read this move and now they're going to adjust their angles A player's forces are under attack. A town portal again from focus. So if he gets caught out of position, he's going to be in some trouble. And there we go. Raider coming in from his base gets ensnared. It's going to go down. Didn't mention this, but uh, Vampiric Aura for Lin. Always strong for Orc. Blade Master gets plenty of value out of that. So the Raiders and Brunts. And here we go. Now Moons. Expanse is in trouble. He also does not have the armor upgrade, so very fast on the mass repairs. And that is just going to be some old fashioned base trading again. But Colorful's got the expansion up here, entangling right now. The Wisps have managed to evac for Colorful. So they're going to take some trades here. Town portal across to here and focuses his army in some major trouble. Does have a town portal on the Blade Master. Show Hunter getting focused. Surviving for the moment though. Blade Master out the back, chasing down the Naga Sea Witch. Looks like he's gonna get it eventually. And the mass dry no, heal potion. Mass drives are getting picked apart here. By the mass raider and snares. He's going off to the lab. Does he have enough money to buy a Zeppelin? Either way, does not get it out of there. Let's add tally stuff in from the reinforcements here now. Oh, but a surround on the Demon Hunter. Pops the invol to get out of there. Demon Hunter's in some trouble. Town is under siege. Both Demon Hunters a little bit low here. Heal scroll on the red side though is looking kind of good. The rest of the orc army is coming back here, but the red team have done so much damage while well, they've been out of position. Big Master Town portaling out now. Now I can see which trying to run out. Hex does have the town portal on here if he really wants to. And does. The bear's running away now. Knocked out most of Colorful's base. But yeah, this expansion up and mining, but 100 gold gone from it so far. And I don't think the red team has scouted this even slightly. It's a brilliant move from Colorful. Oh, and look how fast these raiders have got across the map to find the bears. They could be in some major trouble now. Oof. Morphs them to dodge the ensnares. Pops a bunch of healing on them so they're ready for the upcoming fights. Raw back down. Okay, here comes the fight. Closer to even in terms of food counts now, though, after all of those night elf losses. On the teal side. Mm, it's hard to say who's coming out on top at the moment. Team's quite resilient with the healing from the Shadow Hunters. Spirit Link on the teal side. Put Peons and Lin to try and swing this fight. And a bunch of sh oh Spirit Walkers. Oh boy, the red team is coming out on top on this one. No way. And having town portal out. Gets out of there. So many units super low. How much gold we got left? 900 left. 500 here. 2k left over here. But the red team. Yeah, this is it. And this is all their gold. He's sending out some peons to maybe do some long range mining. But hang on. There's an expansion back there, lads. You're going to have to deal with that. Another expansion coming in in this attack. corner for Lin. 
No rebuild over here though. Only 2.5k. Pretty low priority mine. Nope, oh, focus starts his expansion. And uh yeah, they're gonna have to take care of this one. Colorful got 1.5k out of it. Worth. Black spikes there. Two towers as well. It looks like the red team are maybe just kind of camp this position. Make sure this expansion actually comes up. Two beers left for Moon. A town is under siege. That's pretty much all he's got. And there we go. Scouts out Lin's expansion with this. Are under attack. Wisp. No expansion down here though. Fight underway. Being very delicate with this bear micro. He really wants to keep those guys alive. So valuable. Since he can't rebuild. Looks like the Teal team have got the edge at the moment, though. Where's their Blade Master going? Hello? What was that? Well, so much DPS missed. Now Moon's Demon Hunter in some trouble. Staff out. Got to get out of there for the moment. But yeah, this is not a good fight for the Red team. Doesn't knock out the Blade Master, he managed to tally staff out to safety. Just more army left over for the Teal team at this stage. The team's still got the heroes here. Not anymore, there goes the last bear as well, the Demon Hunter having a run out. Let's go get some healing done. The mine is there, it's up and mining. But it seems like the Teal team have just squeaked up enough of an economy advantage to close the show the here. Maybe that extra attack. 1500 gold from here, they would have built themselves a slightly larger army and win this fight. I'm sure the Vampiric Aura also helping a lot with all these like melee heroes in the hero fighting. Seems like they've got a slight experience lead now on the Teal team as well. Couple of level fives. Two towers here. He's going to come in for some repairs. The team having to mobilize some defenses, but not a terribly powerful army. Exchanging mana burns there. Okay, focus fire on the teal. Shatter on top, but he transfers over the invol pot. Staying alive now. Demon Hunter's in the mix. Get some focus. Demon Hunter staffed out. Going for the Raider kills now, the red team. To close out some of this lockdown, but with the Spirit Link, they're just <laughs> taking so long to kill this one Raider. It's kind of shameful, if I'm honest. Now the Naga Sea Witch in some trouble. Focuses Share Hunter out of mana now. Oh, and there goes Moon's Demon Hunter. Blade Master is very low as well. Seems like this is the last gasp for the uh, red team. Focus brought in his peons to help in this fight. But yeah, Focus and Moon, a little bit too far behind, GG. Yeah, there, there was just those two attacks from the red team that just didn't work out at all, attacking into those bases while the teal team had the expansion running. And then they were so far behind. The base trading, I think, worked out pretty well for the red team, kind of got themselves back into the game, but 
that extra 1500 gold from that colorful expansion that made the difference down the stretch gg pretty uh fun match there nice to see some uh 2v2 warcraft well anyway guys a wrap on that thanks for tuning in to some more warcraft reaction until next time goodbye and good luck